Sinead Monet here and I am back with another video. All right guys, so today I went to Zach's Beats for the first time ever and I got that spicy chicken sandwich. You knew I was gonna do it. So if you're interested, stay tuned because we're about to get right into the video. All right y'all, so let me get you to run now because I know you're like, girl, this is not even a setup. I know, I'm already hip. Well, look, I'm at ATL, okay? I had some things popping off here, you know what I'm saying? Some business ventures, but I was like, I'm not gonna not do a food review. So I had to think to myself, self, what you don't got around the way, okay? What you don't got in the DMV that they got in the ATL? Zach's bees. And so here we are today. I already got it. My Uber Eats came. So let me go ahead and give you a clue. What's up in here? Okay, I see these fries. They ain't got no seasoning on them. Oh, a little bit. They go a speck. They go a speck of seasoning right there. Okay, all right. But here go the spicy chicken sandwich right here, baby. Ooh, soft bun. Yes, sir. Okay, spicy sauce. What else? Chicken breast. Okay, and pickles. Ooh, that's a little pickle. A little pickle at the bottom and more spicy sauce. Let's get into it and see what it's talking about. I ain't gonna waste too much time. Let me see. Hold on. Let me get into this fry. Hold on. You know, it seemed like it traveled. You know, it, it came a long way because it's a little bit kind of soggy. But I feel like if I would have got it myself, it would have been a different story because I do taste a little bit of the seasonings that they put on there. It is seasoned. They did do that part. They did do that. My bad. But this one had to travel long and far to get here. I understand. I understand. Okay, well, we ain't, that ain't why we here anyway, so it don't even matter for us. This is why we really here. Woo, yes. Oh, look at that chicken breast. Oh, well, let me give you another close-up, baby. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Hold on, because I'm excited. We don't got this at home. This little pickle, though. These little pickles, child. Hold on. Let me put them together with some. Let me try to put some together. Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Because they try to give me a little throw together. And I don't like that. Boom. They go to the pickle right there. I'm going to take me a good bite. Don't disappoint. Please don't fail me. Let's go. enjoy something so much you gotta keep looking at it like who sent you who told you i was here mm, suspicious activity y'all already know we gotta get into the deets so let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you listen 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 linda listen listen so the sauce is different from any other sauce i've ever tasted and y'all know i'm almost like a chicken sandwich connoisseur you know I done had chicken sandwiches from all over the place, okay? Everywhere you could think of, I done tried that chicken sandwich, believe it. But this sauce, it's spicy. It got a little heat on it because I feel that little spice. It's spicy trying to creep through, but it's low. The volume is low, okay? It got it on a good simmer. It got it between a one and a five. It's on a low simmer, okay, with the lid on. It's chilling. It also got like a little hint of like sweetness in it. You know, just a little bit of sweetness. And I can't be mad at that. Now, I do like my food spicy because when you tell me that something is spicy, don't play with that girl because she is not one of them. She wanted to knock her socks off. Y'all just put some ankle socks on me. I like when people say spicy and it really be spicy, not mild because then it should have been called mild and not spicy. But anyway, we don't have to keep going there. Anyway, whatever. I digress. Let's get into the star of the show, which is that chicken breast. Okay? Thick. Th -th 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 thick. <laughs> the chicken breast is thick, but not dry. Because y'all know if it was dry, I have to tell you. Okay, I have to cut the camera. Because I wouldn't be able to do the rest of my review because my esophagus would begin to close up. You know what I'm saying? So it's not dry. Y'all saw me go ahead and get it down with ease. I'm fine. Y'all witnessed it firsthand right here. The chicken breast is nice and crispy. And it's not dry. So I don't got no complaints. Now the pickles. 
Y'all played with me with them pickles because they not adding nothing to this sandwich. I don't even know if I bit the pickle. I saw it with my eyes that I bit the pickle. I ain't taste the pickle yet. You got to up the ante with the sour. You know what I'm saying? We need the acidity. You know, we need that to cut through. It's going to cut through sharp as a knife. That's what you need. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so don't play with the pickles. Of course, the bread is nice and soft. Honestly, on a scale from one to five, five bin. Yeah. I like that. You know I like that. Oh, one bad. Mm -mm, I don't like that. I'm going to have to go with a... Let's give it a three. I'm going to give it a three. And the only reason I'm going to give it a three and a half is because I want spicy when y'all tell me spicy. Don't play with me, okay? I don't like to be teased. That's not nice. So, no, thank you. But if y'all was to up the ante on the spicy sauce, y'all could have got a five from me, baby. Say less. All right, y'all. Well, look, I'm going to go ahead and take another bite. Give me one second. Hold on. Mm-hmm. 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 That's a good sandwich right there. I like this. Mm, pretty good. Let me try some of these fries with a little bit of spicy sauce on it. Mm-hmm. It's -mm, still soggy. Mm-hmm. I don't like those soggy fries, child. That is not my cup of tea. Because for real, for real, huh, my review is over. I said what I said now. Yeah, for the rest of y'all who just want to know something about something. I ain't ate all day. And I am hungry. Starving. So I needed this. I needed it so bad, y'all. Let me tell you something. Hold on. Let me put my chicken sandwich down. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you real quick. Woo! Baby! Hey, baby. Hey, baby. We in the club, son. Okay, but no, for real. Y'all. If you know, you know. If you follow my Instagram, then you guys know I'm at ATL for an opportunity. It's been amazing. I've been on the morning hustle Monday through Wednesday. By the time you guys see this, I will probably be back home. It's been absolutely fantastic. And my message today is go for it. Just go for it. It don't matter about the qualifications. It don't matter about the experience. It don't matter about none of that. If something comes your way, go for it. Especially if it's something you really genuinely want to do. You may have never even thought about doing it before. But if it sparks your interest and an opportunity arises, don't say, no, I never done it before. Well, how you gonna say you done it before if you don't go ahead and do it? You got to get out there and get it done. So that way the next time something else come up, you can say, oh, I did that already, okay? I already been there, I already did that, I already know how that go. But you got to get the experience. This is how you gonna get it. So go for it. That's all I'm saying. When opportunities happen, don't shy away because you are not an expert in that field. How do you think people become experts? Don't worry. I wait. They had to do it, okay? They had to go for it. They had to get up, get out, and get some, okay? And I'm trying to get you on that same wave right along with me, okay? So I'm just telling you, don't worry about anything else. Only worry about things you can control, which is yourself. All right now. Well, look, y'all. I do got work to do. I'm going to head out. I do miss y'all a lot. I love all the love and support that y'all been giving me endlessly. I truly appreciate it. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Until next time, guys. Peace.